Today, let's make some delicious pouch filled with delicious stuff inside. Today, I'm going to show you how to make shrimp and Asian chive dumplings. Seu puchu mandu, made with just only a few ingredients, but really tasty, so you'll be surprised. Most of all, you'll be happy to learn how to make this make shape like a pleated skirt, really wrinkly, kind of a cute pouch. After making this, I'm going to steam this with my bamboo steamer. Let's start. So this is half pound shrimp. I already washed and cleaned or deveined. And then this is Asian chives, in Korean, puchu. Four ounce. I'm going to chop this guys into really small pieces. You can get it at the Chinatown or Korean grocery store or sometimes Japanese store. You can find this. Whenever I go to Chinatown, all year round, I can find. When this guy is cooked, really tasty. And also, color is really pretty, make it really green color. We are going to use this shrimp. This is shrimp, the reason I just separated this, I'm going to show you how to clean this. Shell, this way. And like that. And then, Around this back part, it has intestine. So sometimes big intestine, sometimes very clean. So this is very clean, very clean. And then one time, quickly rinse this. You don't need to chop the really small pieces because we just when this is made, I want some like a big chunks. So just cut it like that and add here. Now we have two ingredients here and then third ingredient, tofu. I found this tofu, really soft tofu. When you mix with this, make it really juicy. I will just use a quarter. Quarter is around four ounce. See, really, really soft. And squeeze out. Just a little water. Not much water coming out, but squeeze out around one tablespoon water. Here you go. Let's add salt, half a teaspoon. Ground black pepper, half a teaspoon. Sesame oil, two teaspoon. One, two. Potato starch, one tablespoon. And then, let's mix. Several years ago, I posted a video, mandu dumplings. Korean, like a traditional style, I made the filling with a lot of vegetables. But, to make this delicious seu buchu mandu, you don't need many ingredients. So now, it's time to make mandu. So mandu skins, when you go to the Chinese store, Korean grocery store, you can easily find this, you know, mandu pea. It's called mandu pea, mandu skins. You can make at home. My recipe for homemade mandu pea, check out if you, you guys don't have a Korean grocery store near your house. So I'm going to make around with this uh, amount of filling, 25. This small guy is a uh, uh, package is uh, around 25. Whenever I make a mandu, I make a huge amount and then keep in the freezer and then take it out just whenever I need that. Sometimes fry, sometimes, uh, sometimes steam. When I make a noodle soup or you know, rice cake soup, I add some my dumplings. That's why uh, dumplings are always in my freezer. Later I will show you. Take one and then use your fingers and spread some water here. Scoop like this. And then so around the edgy part and then Let's make a pleat. Two, three. Look at that. Isn't 
Isn't it pretty? This is a beautiful pouch. And then here. And next. Then from here on the edge, fold. Really cool. We made 25 dumplings. All 25 members are good looking. I'm going to uh, take some for steaming with my bamboo steamer. The reason I like a bamboo steamer is that you can steam here and serve. And you don't need to take it out with tongs, you know, to the plate. You don't have to do that. Just to serve, you know. So that's very convenient. And then I'm just boiling my water. And I'm using this parchment paper. This size is the largest. I like to cut it. This steamer liner is sold at the Korean grocery store. And it has like even holes here. So when you put this here, water should not be above this line because this is the you know bottom. See? And then to here. And then let it steam. So mandu looks a little translucent and clear looking and then it's well cooked. I will just make 20, 20 minutes set. This guy I'm going to freeze. This is my mandu. This one is uh, inside the pork. This is shrimp. So I, sometimes I feel like a shrimp and then I eat this. Sometimes I feel like a pork, especially fried one. So pork is very tasty. This is my always emergency food. Any, my guests coming suddenly and then, okay, I'll make this soup or fried mandu. Homemade mandu, everybody loves that. This is, I'm going to freeze. You guys saw my freezer. My freezer is my number one important property because in my freezer, all kinds of ingredients, something like some Korean jujube, dried jujubes, and pine nuts, you know, all kinds of stuff, even squid, frozen squid is there. So if I don't have this kind of ingredients, I feel uncomfortable. I gotta fill it up, my freezer. But now just almost uh, some of them are empty. I need to bring more. Sometimes I have some inspiration. Oh, I gotta cook. I gotta make this recipe. And then uh, my ingredients are always ready. Let's make a sauce. Some soy sauce, about two teaspoons, one teaspoon vinegar. I'm using apple vinegar now, but you can use apple or white vinegar. Korean hot pepper flakes and sesame seeds. That's it, this is a dipping sauce. So 20 minutes passed. Yeah, I think well done. Translucent. Besides, my water is all gone. Just only the bottom part a little bit. Turn off. Oh my. My God, it smells so good. It's one pouch. I will show you inside. Oh wow, look at that. It's very sweet and juicy and shrimpy. 
and texture is very chewy and springy and hot. <laughs> These three ingredients in filling are working in harmony. Today, we made seu buchimandu, shrimp and Asian chives dumplings. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.